Follow on quick article reports. Forecast an unavoidable crisis for the U.S. dollar. You hear a lot of reports from Watcher, Watchman who relating to uh, monetary system, dollar. You got redatted. Um, you know, no redatted. Talking about um, talking about um, different things related to the, uh, the U.S. dollar and the uh, potential related to the economy. Guru. Let me see what else we have. Uh, Russia is now the fourth largest uh, U.S. Uh, uh, largest economy in the world. That's uh, by BRICS. Top three is on China, U.S., uh, India, Russia, Japan, Germany. Top five. Signature, which had you know issues last year, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, First State Bank, and other banks. But, uh, you have uh, let me say continuation. has sold 72 billion worth of U.S. Treasuries. And you have a lot of U.S. Treasuries assets being sold by these countries, whether it's China, whether it's Russia. So that's ultimately, directly and directly, it's going to affect the U.S. dollar. In general, in long term, that goes to the de-dollarization. You know, me and these nations are pretty much ditching the U.S. dollar. Chinese yuan, and uh, they're reporting to uh, a 
I think India was trying to get some gold back uh, so they can get access to certain golds um, so they can have back back by gold as a report. Um, reserve bank managers accumulating the US dollar for its high yields. China's uh, interests have declined. Elvis bolster the US dollar at the time when the BRICS is looking to uproot it, uproot it as the world uh, reserve currency. And they are going to do it. You know, they, they're going to try to make safe face with the dollar. You know, from the optics and different things. But the reality is their goal ultimately is to de-dollarize. That being said, their goal is to ultimately de-dollarize dollarization and to break from using a certain currency that's been uh, globally uh, a power stone for 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 um, for, uh, uh, for decades and centuries man you know me Scripture talks about and um, the feet um, Sirach 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything great or small, man. So overall, relating to great matters or small, and the financial sector is a, a very great matter, man. You know, the so not be not ignorant of relating to um, the stability or instability relating to this financial system, man, because you're seeing. A transitional change relating to the system. Certain people want to do certain things relating to the system. You know, changes relating to um, to make a new uh, uh, go into the next phase. But I'm speaking. Seventy-three central banks reserve managers said that they plan to increase by the U.S. dollar in the next 12, 24 months. Therefore, the U.S. dollar will see more accumulation in the coming years. Not the, not the Chinese yuan. So they try to do what they do to try to keep the dollar still relevant, especially globally and internationally. But on the other hand, these other nations want to break from the, uh, the hegemony of power, the power of the staff, of the economic staff of the dollar. Man. So they speak in two ways, man, in the matter of speaking. Man. goes to um, in general and, and also ignore, ignore not certain matters great or small and in general be not ignorant man. so not ignore relating to the um, great matters or small even the greater matters in small all right let's go to uh, you got more news uh, Philippine Marines drew firearms as China as China ceased the second time this show um, airdrop says Philippine military chief uh, so the Chinese Phil uh, Philippine Armed Forces boats let me see I think it's a video here by AFP shows two China Coast Guards ridges, haul inflatable boats, RHIBS, rushing to pick up an airdrop food supply. So that's what you see in scrambling to get up to that, um, scrambling to get those um, food supplies. Met for Filipino soldiers stationed at ER Saramantri 
on Yon Chen Show. Sarah Miandri Oyonjin Oyonjin Shaho There's a video here related to that two minute one the Philippine military, military, the Chinese Coast Guard, the, CC, the CCG, and the, PI, and the PM, which is the filter, uh, Philippine military. that U.S. will use conventional weapons against um, the West or U.S. relating to Ukraine and their military um, onslaught related to directly in uh, Russia. I seen that on a report earlier. You know, Wyong, Chion, I mean, yeah, Wyong, um, China, U.S. Um, nuclear weapons in South Korea would undermine its security. Comfort, man. South Korea, very close. Very close. North Korea, right above them. And the center point is the demilitarized zone. The demilitarized zone that separates between um, um, demilitarized zone, the DMZ, which separates between North and South Korea. And then you have across from uh, west of South Korea would be China, man. So, yeah, it would be a threat to them. a servant to the vendor. The rich uses entreaties and, and the rich answer roughly. So the rich, which is the ones in power, over the poor, which is the majority of the rest of the population. So this, uh, the borrower, which is the poor, is a servant to the what? Lender, which is the rich. James 
real quick. Let me get James. Five. scripture you know you rich people listen to me weep and wail over your miseries that are coming upon you so that's a warning to the rich man woe to you rich your riches are rotten away your cloths have been have eaten by moss so with holes in it your gold and silver is, is covered with rust is cankered and your rust will be a witness against you, a testimony against you. It will eat your flesh like fire. And that goes to really the judgment, man. Uh, you have piled up riches in these last days, man. Accumulation of wealth, generational wealth passed from generation to generation. So it's, it's becoming, it's, uh, it's at an end, man. That's what it's saying. It's warning related to the ones in power, man. Uh have not paid any wages to those who work in, in your fields. That's the servants or slaves that you forced by violence, forced labor, without compensation. Man. Listen to their complaints. The richest the scripture talks about the righteous complain continually. Man. That's, that's crying. Man. Their cries of those who gather in the crops and have reached the ears of God, Lord Almighty, which is Sabaoth. So the Lord, the Lord remembers relating to uh, the certain things they have done. Man. Your life, your life here on earth has been full of luxury and pleasure because they're not in trouble as other men. Earth has been given to the hands of them through the sword, using the great sword. You know, what I mean, they will have power, man. Uh, Edom, the red horse. Uh, took peace from the earth using the great sword, Revelation 6 and 4. And you made yourselves fat for the day of slaughter, man. So through the using the blessing of the sword, you gained fatness of the earth, the resources, everything, man. And the day of your slaughter is your judgment, man. And you have condemned and murdered an innocent people that, had, that did not resist you, starting with the Israelites, man. Ones you befriended, ones you betrayed, ones you undermined and betrayed, forced them to make you build up this rulership. Then, uh, then, then, uh, um, then pretty much put them to the side, man, like they didn't exist. You know what I mean? Took them out, you know what I mean? Murdered them, you know? Uh, did horrible things to them historically. Used these people at the expense, using them people to build your kingdom up. Man. Now the Lord is saying a judgment is going to come upon you. That's James 5 1 through uh, 6, man. That relates to the rich, man. The ones who are the, truly in a position of power, starting with them, man. Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. Scripture talks about in um, Psalms 49 and 11, their inward thoughts of their minds, they believe their, their houses shall continue forever. Man. So that goes to a continuation related to being in a position of power. But the Lord says otherwise, according to Scripture, that um, 14 and 5 of the Job talk about um, um, he appointed a time where they're not going to pass relating to their boundaries. And so, we get that. So they're not going to go beyond what the Lord has allowed them to go beyond. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. So the, the Lord determined the days of the ones in power, man. The scripture talks about he prolonged relating to the wicked. So the wicked, the wicked are prolonged, really prolonged to accumulate and build up of relating to their judgment, man. Because everything has its time and season, even under the heavens. Usually I see three and one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are 
with thee. So the Lord has a, a, a pretty much a determined date relating to when when certain things will happen, when the wicked is going to be taken out of power. But that's only the Lord knows that well. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he's not going to go beyond what he's allowed to pass for the through boundary or his rulership. That being said, um, this is something short. I want to give all praise, y'all, Bashim, Yosha, Bashim, Rakakadash, because you're seeing the deterioration related to the ones in power, man. And it's starting monetarily, man. That being said, this is Zion Wolf, hope it helps, y'all.